everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be reviewing new shades for a Tooth Fixing Tint. They came with two limited edition shades. For warm tones, unfortunately, these are both cool tones. This is a promotion with Blooming Tail and it's part of their Pink Shy collection. As part of the promotion, they also include a mirror. You can actually fold it like this and it'll stand. They also include a Pink Shy memo. As for the packaging, we have two different types of packaging. For Pink Sprinkle, it has a pink cap, it has a pink body. The brush is pretty much the same as a fixing tint brush. For Vine Pink, it has a clear cap with flowers on it, which is really adorable. And the brush is also the same as well. For the scent, it does have a similar crayon-like scent. So starting off first, this is Pink Sprinkle. It's a cool summer light shade. It's very light and semi-brightening. It does look quite similar to the promotional picture. So I have this bubblegum pink color with purple undertones. It doesn't seem like a photogenic lip shade for my natural beige skin tone. It's a little bit too light for my skin tone. As for the formula, it pretty much feels the same. It has a watery formula and then dries matte. It feels very moisturizing. This is a very light color, but it doesn't look powdery. It has a very nice even application. Let's go with a full look. So now we have the full, like a very interesting color. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but in person, it's a very hot pink purple shade. For my natural beige tone, this is a big no-no. It just doesn't look flattering on me. So if you're a cool tone, I definitely recommend this for you. And it just pops up too much. It's very vibrant on the lips. Not a common lip color for Korean lip products. Again, it looks quite similar to the promotional pictures, but it's a lot more vibrant. Right now it has that finish of makeup in the 90s. When you apply it's very bright but once it oxidizes it does darken a little bit but even when it darkens it's still a very bright and vibrant color. However it does have very even application. There's no powdery residue. As you know for the fixing tint formula it's mask proof. It did transfer just a little bit but it has a very good stain and for the fixing tint formula it does last quite a long time up to six to eight hours. There's a comparison swatch with pink sprinkle at the bottom and top of that is Pink Rare's Ink Mood Glowy Tint in 21. And then we have Bear Berry Smoothie. For Bear Berry Smoothie and Pink Sprinkle they have a very similar undertone sort of this hot pink. Pink Sprinkle does look a lot more light and vibrant and Bear Berry Smoothie does oxidize a bit to be darker. You can see they all have a similar range of being a bubble gum pink shade. Here's a matte comparison with Cooling Up and I thought Cooling Up was quite light but you can see here that Pink Sprinkle is a lot more light and vibrant. Next up, this is Vine Pink. This is the shade that I was most looking forward to. It's a cool summer mute shade. Super flattering, very MLBB. It looks very similar to my original lip color, sort of this pink purple shade, and it looks quite similar to the promotional pictures. I'd say this is semi mute. It's almost a little bit more towards being a neutral shade, and it's not too cool toned compared to the previous one. The more they apply, the more purple brown it's going to look with a little bit of a pink undertone. This is very flattering and pretty, but it kind of reminds me of Woody Pink. Let's go ahead and do some comparison swatches. I have Vine Pink at the bottom, Baked Pecan. And then Woody Pink, to be honest with you, I think it looks exactly the same as Woody Pink. Very similar pink purple shade. For Baked Pecan, it does have more brown in it and less purple. But overall, it's going to look very, very similar to Woody Pink. For my intro and outro videos, I have applied both of these. I have Pink Sprinkle as my base color and then Vine Pink in the inner corner of my lips. It actually doesn't look too bad slightly balances out. So overall pink sprinkle was actually a very interesting shade. Not a shade color that I typically would wear but if you are into vibrant and uh, bright shades I would recommend this. I think this will look really good as a blush. Otherwise I can only see myself wearing this as a base color giving me 90s makeup vibes. I was looking forward to buying pink but it turns out that it's very very similar to woody pink. So I think I would like to see a little bit more difference in the shades especially for the limited editions. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.